Hi guys, welcome back to another art lesson. Today we're going to be looking at um, a Russian artist and his surname is Kadinsky and um, he is well known for creating abstract art. And for those of you who don't know what abstract art is, I hope that I'm going to help you to open the door to something that's really really fun and exciting abstract art can be so much fun because when it comes to making the art in the abstract world anything goes and i literally mean anything goes you can do whatever you want to do if you want to paint a picture of a person or a landscape you can but you can do it however you want to. You can do it in any colours you want to. So you could do a blue face, for example, or when it comes to a landscape, you could do pink hills and a purple sky and a black lake. That is all abstract art because it's all come from your imagination. Abstract art is looking at things that come out of your head and down onto the canvas or the paper. And you can use any art supplies that you like when you're creating abstract pieces and you can mix them all up as well when people do that they often call it mixed media when they use all kinds of things together Kandinsky probably used oil painting oil paints and oil pastels in his work um, but you can use whatever you've got to hand so if you've got any oil pastels you can use them if you've got any acrylics you can use them or poster paints whatever you've got you can use and the beauty of abstract art is you can just have fun with it and make a mess. I'm giving you permission to make a mess. Although, check with the person who <laughs> where you're painting that you're okay to do that first. And just put some newspaper down or a protective coating before you make too much mess. And you can do whatever you like. You can create artwork just using different shapes. You don't have to do a face or a landscape. You can just use shapes. And Kandinsky was really famous for just using shapes. One of the shapes that you, you see quite a lot in his work are circles. He uses a lot of lot of circles. And in some of his really famous pieces, he it is entirely circles. It is one piece made up of different coloured circles layered on top of each other. And it's so cool. One of my favourite pieces of his artwork is a, on a really navy blue background with lots of different coloured circles. I really, really love it. For me, it looks like space. When I look at that piece, I think of space. What do you guys think of? Do you think of space when you see this? I do. I think it's really, really cool. I love circles anyway and I use a lot of circles in my artwork I for me a circle is a really really fun shape and so I love putting them in anything I do so I can really see why Kandinsky enjoyed using them too in other pieces of work he uses all kinds of random shapes and all kinds of colours colours that you perhaps wouldn't even think of putting together he puts them together all go down on top of each other shapes and colours and mediums and all of that kind of stuff it all goes down on the paper on the canvas all together and that guys is like the beauty of um creating abstract art so i hope you're going to delve with me and have a go we're probably going to do abstract art not today we're looking at Kandinsky but over the next couple of weeks I think we might delve into a bit more abstract art because abstract art is quite a vast area and we can have so much fun with abstract. Don't forget to um, in the description of the video below don't forget to download the workbook the work pack that kind of comes with this video in there there's lots of activities and exercises for you to do as well as what we're talking about in the video today so let's get creating. I've got my journal just because everything I paint, um, well not everything I paint, but a lot of things I paint go in my journal, my art journal, my sketchbook, whatever you want to call it, um, so I can keep everything together. Um, and I've got some paints. Now, um, you want to choose whatever paints you've got, whatever sort of style of paints you've got. I'm going to be using acrylics. Um, you want to just grab out some different colours. Now, the thing to remember is it doesn't really matter what colours you use because Kandinsky 
clashed his colours. Like he put colours together that you wouldn't necessarily um, expect colours to go together normally. So it doesn't really matter. I've kind of chosen a broad range of colours there, but it really, really doesn't matter. And that's the whole beauty of abstract art is that you can just do whatever you like, whatever you fancy doing, whatever feels right for you. So I'm just going to choose a brush, try to decide what brush to use. Um, right. Um, okay, so we are going to have a go at replicating our own um, circles design because we know that um, Kandinsky was really famous for his circles. And so I'm just going to mark out on my page roughly where I want my um, design to go. Now, if you check the um, work pack out, you'll find there's a, in the download, there's um, a A4 sheet already marked out for you. So you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Um, but I'm just roughly with really light pencil because I don't want to... Um, really see the pencil marks I'm just giving myself a grid um, now I'm going to be doing a three by three so three across and three down um, you can do as many as you like on your paper no matter what size your paper is um, my my paper is a square format and you might be using a four which is an oblong and that's totally fine so yeah, we're just going to go in now and we're going to paint circles. Um, you, I tend to go straight on my brush like this with some of my acrylics, but you can put them onto um, a paper plate or whatever palette you use first if you want to. And yeah, I'm just going in and I'm just painting some circles. And I will put this sped up for you and some music on so you can just sit and watch what I'm doing.
there we go. That's my Klandinsky circles inspired. Um, some of Klandinsky circles, he has lots of um, circles in each square. I've only gone for two and then a background purely because of I'm working with a bit of a tight space there. Um, I've got quite small paper and quite big paint brushes. You can do as many circles as you like. And on some of Kandinsky's pieces, he has like, say, two circles and the next piece next to it, he'll have five circles. And then this one might be three circles. So you can do as many circles in each square as you want to do. Um, the beauty of abstract art is that it's a, you can just have fun with it and play, mix the colours. Don't worry if your colours mix up. If you're using um, watercolours, um, you can actually get your um, colours off. You're using like really watered down um paints you can also get your watercolors to mix together so I'll just show you I'm just using some watercolor um, so let's put a pink circle there like that and then if you leave that to dry your colors won't blend but if you go straight in with another color and start doing your circles you'll notice that your colors will start to blend together um, this is called in watercolor terms this is called a wet in wet technique and the watercolor is like wick the color will go wherever the water flows um, but it does give a really nice um, technique and I'll do some more on watercolor in, in another in another session but if you're using watercolors and they all do start mixing together don't worry about it it's all part of the Klandinsky way he's he uses a mixture of um different mediums different art supplies to create his his work and so when it blends together that's absolutely fine i've enjoyed using acrylic paints i like using acrylics because they are really bright and really vibrant and they're really nice to work with so that's that now i thought we could move on to a different um style of um kandinsky artwork this time rather than painting i thought it might be um quite fun to do a collage and um we're going to take inspiration from one of um his pieces um and yeah as i said i'm going to be using collage so i've chosen some colors that i like i'm going to use this kind of neutral buff kind of color as my background and i've got some pink card orange card some purple paper and this is an envelope which i'm going to cut apart for black because i thought black is really good to give some um, pops of color now what i'm going to do is i am just going to cut different shapes out nothing i'm not really going to worry about what shapes i'm cutting but out of the different pieces i'm going to do some different colors and different shapes so I've got some rectangles and some triangles there and I'm just gonna mark, work my way through cutting out some different shapes okay we've got a variety of um, different shapes there and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna get um, a glue stick and I'm just gonna stick them down and layer them up and trying to replicate some of Kandinsky's abstract artwork. Now he um, probably would have used acrylics, not acrylics, I'm um, sorry, oils um, to create his, his pieces like this. But I think it's fun sometimes to work with different, different materials. Sometimes you find something that really works for you and that you really enjoy. Um, we have just done a bit of painting, so it's fun to do a bit of collage. Um, if you want to do some more painting though, and you want to do this with paints, then go ahead and do it with paints. Just bear in mind that when you're layering up, um, if your colors aren't dry, they might smudge and intermingle though. So you just need to make sure that everything is dry before you go over the top of it, unless you want it to be like that. So I'm actually being really random here and I'm just picking up shapes as and when I grab them. And I actually think that really works not to think about it too much because when you think about it too much, that's when you start to kind of be more precise and that really alters, alters your artwork. 
And as I said, the good thing about abstract is that you can kind of just get lost in the process of it. You don't have to worry. You can just put some music on in the background and you can just get lost in yourself in the process of creating art. And that is really fun to do. So I'm really enjoying this and I'm really liking the result. When you use black, it makes all the other colours pop as well. So if you if you haven't got any black, to really try and consider finding some black from somewhere or if not, just using a pen to go in and to create your black because it will really make your piece pop afterwards. There we go, have I got anything else left on my desk? Oh, this is a funny shape. This is left from cutting something. Let's use that and stick that down. See where it's gonna go. And a little triangle. That's all the bits from my desk. And there we have it. Another Kandinsky inspired piece of artwork that's really simple and really effective and I love this um, and you can use that as you know in loads of different ways and build it up and just have fun with it. So I really really hope you enjoyed looking at Kandinsky um, today and I hope you have a go at creating your circles with paint and your abstract collage. It would be really cool if you did and don't forget to download the work pack that's linked in the description of this video below and that way you'll get all the extra activities and everything. Be sure to like this video because I will create more if you like it and share it with all your friends who'd like to learn a little bit more about art and subscribe to the channel so that you know when the next one's coming. Thanks for watching guys, bye!